So let's do this ARA scheduling now. The process remain mostly the same. You have to find the TAT waiting time, average TAT, average waiting time, and average RT. What is this RT new thing? It's nothing but average response time, right? And we'll see how we find it out. Make another column here, right? For RT, and I'll show you how we do this. Now let's make the GAN chart. And with the GAN chart, we'll be requiring one ready queue. Let's make ready queue upside and GAN chart below it, right? Ready queue. And below it, we'll be making the GAN chart. In a second, it will be clear what is this ready queue, what is this GAN chart. And one more thing, your analysis should be correct. Whether your answer comes out to be correct or not, your analysis should be correct. Now at time zero, process coming p1 so schedule p1 for how much unit of time burst time is 2 but the time quantum of the question the time quantum given is 2 units of time so can we execute more than can we execute the process for more than 2 units of time no the answer is no we saw in the previous video how we do this so burst time is 4 executed for 2 units of time it becomes 2 so the new burst time is 2 till 2 units of time which process has come arrived in the in your memory it's this and this 2 and 3 process has arrived so write p2 and p3 and does p1 require more unit of time yes p1 requires so write p1 again here we have executed this one now execute p2 p2 require 5 unit of time can we execute for 5 unit of time no because the time quantum is 2 unit of time execute it for four, 2 unit of time this becomes 4 2 plus 2 4 now till 4 unit of time which process has arrived process which has arrived till 4 unit of time is 4 and 5 so write p4 p5 here does p2 require more unit of time p does p2 require more unit of time yes it requires 3 more units of time so write p2 again here we have done this now p3 p3 how much is required to require 2 units of time can we execute for 2 units of time yes it is less than equal to 2 units of time so we can execute it for 2 units of time Simply execute it till 6 unit of time, which more process has arrived. P6 has arrived. Yes. Uh, and P3 burst time becomes 0 now. It does not require more, so we don't write P3 here. This time we don't write it here. This is important, right? We are not writing this here because it has been completed. Now, the next process in the queue is P1. How much it required? It required 2 unit of time. Yes, we can execute for 2 units of time, 8 it is completed so we don't write anything here and nothing new is arriving in the queue so we don't write anything here. Now P4, P4 requires your 1 unit of time, can we execute? Yes, now we execute for 1 unit of time because the time requirement, time, uh, because it requires 1 unit of time only, okay, P4 is there. Now P5, P5, P5 it requires 6 units of time, can we execute for 6 units of time? No, we can execute only for time quantum time. That is 2 unit time, it becomes 4, execute for 2 unit of time, 11. Does require P5, P5 require more, more of the CPU time? Yes, so write P5 again here. Now P2, P2 requires how much? 3 unit of time, execute for, can we execute for 3 unit of time? No, only for 2. So, uh, subtract 2, execute for 2 unit of time, 3 and write P2 again here. Now P6. P6, how much it required? It requires 3 unit of time. Can we execute for 3? No, we can execute only for 2 unit of time. So execute, of, execute for 2 unit of time. Minus 2, 1. Now, does require P6 require more CPU time? Yes, so write P6 again here. P5, P5 require 4. The process continues. 2, we write P5 again here. Now P2. P2 require 1 unit of time, yes, it is done, so we don't write P2 again here, we don't write it, okay, so then we don't write it, next process, next process is P6, P6, how much time it require, it require 1 unit of time, so we execute for 1 unit of time, 19, it is done, so we don't write again here, now P5, P5, how much it require, 2 unit of time, execute for 2 unit of time, 21, it is done here. Now write the completion times, the completion time for P5 is 21, the completion time for P6 is 19, you can write this 
from the GAN chart. We have done this million times. So P2 completion time is uh, 18, P1 and your P3 completion time, P3, 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 6, P4 completion time, P4, 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 9. Your P1 completion time is your P1 completion time is is 8, right? Have we written all correct? I guess T80 is nothing but CT minus 80, 8 minus 0, 8, 18 minus 17, 6 minus 2, 4, 9 minus 3, 6, 21 minus 4, 17, 19 minus 6, your 13. Now, if you add them up, you'll get 65 waiting time. Waiting time is T80 minus burst time, right? So, T80 minus burst time, initial burst time. Don't mistake it, please. Air. Don't do silly mistake. 8 minus 4, 4. If it's 17 minus 5, it's 17 minus 5, it's 12. If you fill it, 2, 5, 11, 10. Add it up, 44. Now, this comes response time. What is this response time? Now let's see when the P1 started executing first. At zero unit time, it exec started executing. The response time of P1 is zero. When was P2 first executed? At two unit time, P2 was start has started execution. So write two here. Write two here. I guess this is. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. When it started execution first. Uh, when it started executing first minus arrival time. So. It started executing first at 2 unit of time and arrival time is 1 unit of time. So, write 1 here. 2 minus 1, 1. P3 started executing at 4 unit of time, but when it arrived, it arrived at it arrived at 2 unit of time. So, 4 minus 2, 2. Uh, now, P4, P4 started executing at 8 unit of time, but it arrived at, tell me, P4 arrived at 3 unit of time. So, 8 minus 3, 5. 5, 7, if you add them up, 20, now your average T80 comes out to be total T80 divided by number of process. So, total T80 is 65 divided by number of process is 6. So, it comes out to be 10.578.23. This is the answer for T80. Now, waiting times comes out to be 44 divided by 6. Same process total waiting time divided by total number of process. 7, 6, 42, 23, 3, 7.33 and your RT comes out to be 20 divided by 6, 3.33. I guess we have done the right calculations. Yes, these are the right calculations. I hope you found this video interesting. And try to do make the analysis correct. It doesn't matter whether your answer is correct or not. Your analysis should be correct. So if you like the video, now just like and subscribe for more amazing videos and it will be really great for me. I'm working so hard for this. So please like and subscribe. Thank you.